Hi, I'm Mrs. Nina here with Heroes Smart Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to complete our listening and verbal training with um, our virtue of the week, which is servant's heart. If you're ready to begin, let's start with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, so good to have you here. Hi, how are you today? I'm so glad to see you. If you have your language arts workbook, you may pull it out and open it to page 168, and you'll be exactly where you need to be. We're talking this week about the virtue of having a servant's heart. Having a servant's heart is um, a really good heart to have because Jesus says that the greatest in the kingdom of God is the servant. The servant is the greatest. So if you want to be a great person in God's kingdom, it'll come as you're practicing giving of your heart and a servant to others. And uh, so it's really good to know. We've been learning about uh, the importance and significance of a servant's heart. We want to recite this memory verse and uh, try to commit it to memory through our process that we've implemented, steps one through three. And hopefully by the end of this week, over the weekend, you'll have it committed to memory. Let's begin with step one, which is going to be listening. You're going to listen to Mrs. Nita as I recite the verse to you. Step two is verbal training, and that happens when you um, repeat after me as prompted. And step three is going to be as we repeat the memory verse together to mastery. If you're ready, wiggle your ears. Let's begin with step one, listening training. Obey them not only to win their favor, win their eyes on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Ephesians 6, 6. Let's try it again. Obey them not only to win their favor, win their eyes on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Ephesians 6, 6. Okay, it's your turn. I invite you to repeat after me. Obey them, not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Ephesians 6, 6. Good job. Let's try again. Obey them not only to win their favor when their eyes on you but as slaves of christ doing the will of god from your heart ephesians 6 6. good job now we're going to try to recite this memory verse together are you ready here we go obey them not only to win their favor when their eyes on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Ephesians 6, 6. Okay, good. Let's try again. Obey them, not only to win their favor, when their eyes on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Ephesians 6, 6. Yay, good job, way to go, congratulations. I'm so glad you came to class today. That was a lot of fun. So continue to recite that memory verse if you need to until you've committed it to memory. And I believe God will bless you because of it. Thank you so much for coming to class today. And until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body and as you study, with heroes born, I will be your friend.